Okay, now we'll do practice set 3.3 of the chapter indices and and cube roots. It's this is the second part, second video of this chapter. And in this video, we're going to learn how to find out the cube roots. Now, the first one is 8,000. First question given to us is 8,000. I'm going to solve four questions from part one for you, and the remaining two, once you learn, you'll be able to do on your own. So I'll be solving the first and a few more. So now let's begin. 8,000. We'll have to find the factors of 8,000 through prime factor method. So what we do is, now it's zero at the end, so we can take two because it's divisible by two. Two fours are, then we can two zeros are, zeros are zero. Okay, again two, twos are, again we can take those zeros down. Two, ones are, see to that whichever number you take, you have to take it thrice. Uh, then only you take that number because what happens is, since it's cube root, you have to see to that three times you take that number. So now, zero again, so we can take two again, two, two fives are, zero, zero. Since once I have taken, I have to take two again. Two more times. Two. Twos are four. Carry one. Two fives are. Twice it's there. So one more time. Two ones are. Two twos are. Two fives are. So 125. I know the cube root of uh, 125 is 5. So I can take 5 directly over here. But children, it's better to learn the cube roots up to, uh, say for the, uh, for the cubes of numbers up to 10. So that it becomes easier when such numbers come. 5, 2s are 10, 5, 5s are 20, carry 20, uh, 2, so it's 25, 5, 5s are 25, 5, 1s are, so see, we have 3 groups, okay, with 3 numbers in each group, you have to see the 3 numbers are there in each, same, similar numbers, you can't take, once two, two, then other number has three no same number you have to take thrice. So the factors of eight thousand are two into two into two, then again two into two into two, then five into five into five. So you have three groups. Now when you write the cube root of eight thousand, what you do is you take one number from each group. From this group, I took one, two. From this group, I'll take another two. From this group, I'll take one, five. So basically, cube root of 8,000 is two twos are four, four fives are 20. So 20 is the answer. Now let's do another sum. Say 729. Okay, now. Let's find out the factors of 729. Since it's 9 in the end, it's not divisible by 2. Okay. So let's see if that's divisible by 3. So you have 7 plus 2, 7, 8, 9. 9 plus 9, 18. Yes, it's divisible by 3 because 18 is divisible by 3. So let's take 3. 3 2s are 6. Carry 1. 3 4s are 12. And 3 3s are 9. Now again, 3. 8s are 24, 3 1s are 3. 3, 2s are 6, carry 2, 3 7s are, are 21. Now again I can take 3, 3, 9s are 27. Then 3, 3s are 9. 3, 1s are 3. So that's done. Here again we have two groups. So a 729 can be written as 3 into 3 into 3. Okay. So again we have into 3 into 3 into 3. Okay. So this is our one group and this is another group. So Q root of 729 is 1 from your and 1 from here, that is 3, 3 is a 9. Basically, cube root of 729 is 9. And 9 is your answer. Now, let's try two more sums. Sum number 5, that is minus 
2744 okay 2744 come on let's try let's get the factors of 2744 okay since the last number is 4 that means you all know it's divisible by 2 so come on let's start with 2 Two ones are two. Two three uh, two threes are six, right? Carry one. Two sevens are fourteen. Two twos are four. Again, we'll take two. Two six are twelve. Carry one. Two eights are sixteen. Carry one. Two six are twelve. Again, two. Thrice I need. Two threes are six. Two, two fours are eight. Two threes are six. Three forty-three. Now, actually, seven is the cube root of three forty-three. That's why I told you to learn up to ten so that things become easier for you. Now, let's take seven directly. Seven, seven fours are twenty-eight. Seven fives are thirty-five. So seven fours are twenty-eight. Carry six. Seven nines are sixty-three. Seven, seven is a forty-nine. Seven one is a seven. So basically, again we have one group and the other group. So when you have the factors of two, seven, four, four are two into two into two into seven into seven into seven. So cube root of two, seven, four, four will be. One from here and one from here. That is two into seven is equal to fourteen. But we need cube root of minus two seven four four. Then the answer will be minus fourteen. Okay. Now let's see the next sum. It's three two seven six eight. It's a big number. It's your textbook sum. Come on, let's begin. Okay, so here we start. Three, two, seven, six, eight. Since eight is there at the end, we can take two. Two ones are two. Two six are twelve. Two threes are six. Carry one. Two eights are sixteen. Two fours are eight. Again, two. Two eights are sixteen. Two ones are two. Carry one. Nine is eighteen. Two two is a four. Again two. Two four is a eight. Now it's one, so we have to take zero here. Two. Two nine is a eighteen. Carry one. Two six is a twelve. Again we can take two because it's six in the end. Two. Two is a four. Zero. Two four is a eight. Carry one. Two eights are sixteen. Again, two, two ones are two, two zero, two twos are four, two fours are eight. Again, two, two fives are ten, two ones are two, two twos are four. Ah, uh, now five one two is basically eight will be better now because it's the Eight is the cube root of five and two. So we have, say, eight. Now eight, okay. Eight fives are forty, and eight six are forty-eight. So eight six are forty-eight. Carry three, four is a. So eight eight is a, eight one is a. Okay. So now here what happens is, we have. Three, two, seven, six, eight, and its factors are. See, we have one group. Two, three. So, two into two into two. Again, two into two into two. Then into eight into eight into eight. Okay. So we have to have. One from this group, one from this group, one from this group. Okay, so the cube root of 
थ्री टू सेवन सिक्स एट विल बी टू इंटू टू इंटू एट ओके सो यू हैव टू टू जा फोर फोर एट जा थर्टी टू बेसिकली क्यूब रूट ऑफ थ्री टू सेवन सिक्स एट इज थर्टी टू दिस इज द आंसर नाउ लेट सी आट two of this exercise now the it is said simplify okay simplify the first sum says find the cube root of 27 upon 125 so basically the cube root of uh, 27 is 3 so 3 into 3 into 3 And here for one twenty five is five, so five into five into five, so your answer is going to be three upon five. Okay, now now let's do the third sum. Say if the cube root of seven twenty nine is nine, then cube root of zero point one two three. Seven two nine is equal to what? Okay, here the solution is. We can write this the whole thing like cube root of zero point one two three seven twenty nine. Okay, so we can write this whole thing as cube root of seven twenty nine upon how many zeros are there? How many numbers are there after the point one two three four five six? So one and Six zeros. Okay, so basically that that means cube root of seven twenty nine and cube root of one and six zeros. Four five six. Okay, so now what is the cube root of seven twenty nine nine, and what is the cube root of uh, one with six zeros for three zeros? You put one zero for another three zero one zero. So it is hundred. So nine upon hundred can also be written as zero. So you have zero point. See here two zeros are there. So one number put another zero here. After two numbers you put a decimal point. So zero point zero nine is the answer.